Let's review our action from tonight here in Atlanta City. We began with 10 rounds, super featherweight bout. Tuks Dutnam Bayar taking on Zachariah Lucas. Zachariah Lucas taking this thing on 10 days notice. And I tell you what, he fought well. I mean, he brought it to Tukstad. And in the eighth round, take a look at this. He connects with that left hand, but it's called a slip by the ref. He says, no, it's not a knockdown, a slip. That really could have cost Lucas the win because in the end, this fight ended in a split decision draw. To the co-main, 12 round, super lightweight bout. This was a rematch. Subriel Matias, Petros Ananian. They fought two years ago, and it was Ananian who got the win. But, oh, boy, Matias avenged that loss here, and especially at the end of the ninth round with that punch. Ananian could not continue. The doctor said no, and it's Ananian with the victory by knockout. And then we get to the main event. The WBC featherweight title on the line. Gary Russell Jr. making the sixth defense of his title. Taking on the unbeaten Mark Maxayo. Now, Russell enters his shoulder, right shoulder there in the fourth round. And that was the turning point because he was a one-armed fighter. He couldn't, he threw no jabs, couldn't throw his right hook. And Maxayo just continued on throwing combinations, body shots to one, two. And it's... Mark McZayo with the majority decision, and he is the new WBC featherweight champion.